In this video, we're going to talk about SEO heat maps in Blugly. You are determined to create content that brings traffic. You will write an article, but you do not know if you have a chance to compete in a crowded web. Well, you always have a chance. Here are simple steps you need to do to compete with the big guys successfully. Step 1. Identify your competition on the selected topic. Step 2. Search for keywords you want to fight for. Step 3. Measure your competition against those keywords and identify focus keywords that you stand the chance to compete. 4. Outdo your competitors by writing an article of high quality. And 5. Optimize as hell for the focus keywords you selected to defeat your competitors. Use Blackly to do that. Research docs are designed precisely for that goal. You can find research docs as a separate menu option, but also you have access to research docs from within the article itself. Opening assets panel in the editor and the very first tab you see is research. On the bottom of the panel in assets, you have a filter article related and all. Research docs are independent entities and they assignable to any article. Clicking assign, you can assign multiple docs to a single article. By clicking on the bar of research doc, you can expand it to view a completed research doc. It has three tabs. The document is compiled from a snippets of competitors content to see what you have saved. The keyword list is the list of keywords that you prepared for your topic. The SEO heat maps tab contains reports that you have produced analyzing your competition. To go into editing mode of research doc is the icon edit. Let's review how research doc is constructed. First, you create a research doc with a specific topic in mind. Now, you provide its topic name, even if you did not determine the blog's exact title yet. You can decide later on the article's name, but you must know the topic on the subject you are going to write about. The right side of a research doc is very similar to the article. It has exactly the same multi block layout you can create as many blocks as needed by clicking on the plus icon. You can move blocks around by clicking on the outline icon on the bottom. Switch blocks by clicking arrows or select specific block in pagination. Now the data panel. Let's review the tabs on the left side of research doc. SERP 100 to extract and analyze the top 100 results from the search engine for your focus keyword. My links to bring custom links and to build a specific list of your competitors. Notes to create and find and reuse stored notes. Keywords to find and analyze related keywords for your article. Compete to explore and analyze how you fare against the competition for the keywords you have selected. Perform and research from left to right starting from the SERP 100 tab. Let's explore SERP 100 first. To research the competition, use SERP 100 functionality provided in Blackly's research docs. Click New and provide the research term. It should be as close as possible to the title of your future blog post. You need to select the country and language for the search. Please note, you can present the default country and language in the Settings account configurations tab. Your SERP 100 was generated in less than a minute. By clicking on that bar, you can expand it 
in the left panel's full view and explore the top 100 searches grouped by 10 into 10 pages. They are precisely is your competition. After parsing is completed, you will see the small arrows for each link, and by clicking on that arrow, you will see its parsed content arranged by H2 headers. You can always open the blue URL link and see the actual block site. Clicking on each header, you can open the content ready to be captured into your research doc, broken down into small paragraphs. By clicking on each paragraph, you can copy that snippet. Clicking on images also brings the image into the document on the right side. So you build the document on the right side and make the article out of your competitor's content quickly and easily. Red bars indicate that snippet of content was already used. The question tab has filtered blocks of content that contain questions. Review and add questions being asked in your competitor's content and add it to your research doc as a block in one click. On the statistics tab, inspect paragraphs with statistical data and add them to your documents too. We automatically parsed the first group of 10 links. So if you go to the next group of 10, on the next page, you must click Analyze button to parse the content. Decide who is your real competition who is not. On the results page, select links of your genuine competition and use the menu Add to my links. Adding URL to my links will make this link visible in the My Links tab. If the link is irrelevant to your search topic or it's a home page of high domain authority site and it's not your competition, set the link to ignore. You are competing with other blog articles and not the high authority home pages. Now let's examine the My Links tab to understand and appreciate the benefits of customized list of your competitors on a given topic. As you can see that all links are identified in the SERP 100 are appearing on the list. If any particular URL you want to bring in that is not in the SERP, you can do it here by clicking on the button Add Link. We parse the content as well, so you can use snippets for your final document too. You also can think of my links as a placeholder of bookmarks for your research. The notes tab is an accessory to your research. Your previously saved information, special instructions or other studies are shareable across all your content and are at your disposal. You can also use the notes as your task list. The Keywords tab. Clicking on the Keywords tab, the right side is also changing to the Keywords list. If you focused on the competitors in the first two tabs, SERP 100 and My Links, then this is the place for finding and deciding what keywords to select to fight with your competition. Keywords list serves as a collector for saving suitable keywords that you'll find during the keyword search on the left side. We take several different angles on the keyword research. Blankly is not meant to be a keyword research tool. We cannot compete with Ahrefs or SEMrush, and it's not our goal to substitute thorough, in-depth SEO research. However, what we can do is to provide a practical yet straightforward keyword searching approach not everyone needs a full-blown, expensive enterprise platform for finding keywords. Let's review what we have in the Keywords tab. Start from the Ideas tab. Clicking on the Search button will bring all related searches associated with a specific term. This option provides ideas for what other related keywords to that primary keyword of your topic. Questions tab Search will provide information about what questions are being asked 
on that primary keyword. The first request on both tabs, idea and questions, is included free with every research doc. Subsequent requests will be credit-based. How to complete keywords are search terms related to the keyword you are targeting. We captured top 10 suggested autocomplete searches that appear in the drop-down menu of google.com for every combination. You can request as many times as needed to pull the list. However, volume data is not free. It is a credit-based. To get data for a single keyword, cost 0.01 credit. It translates to one-tenth of one cent. In the near future, we are adding one more tab, Recommendations. We will analyze the SERPs and add keywords most commonly used in a competitor's content. This tab will be populated with 20-25 keywords during the SERP data parsing. Also, we will be adding the ability to bring the keywords that you collected from other places like Google Planner, for example, and upload them into your list. Now we've got to the last step, Compete, in the Research Doc data panel. The final logical step in the research process is to evaluate your competition for the keywords you have selected. Click on the button New to generate an SEO heat map build. We bring your keywords from the list on the left side and your competition from selected SERP on the top. Now you are ready to analyze it. And by clicking on the button, we get the results for you in a simple visual view. You can explore the score for each keyword and site. We calculate the SEO score the same way as we do for your article. It is not only the finding proper keywords, but checking how well your competition is optimized for them gives you an extra advantage. Find the weakest spots of your competition and select the keywords you stand a chance to outrank your competitors. You can add and analyze more keywords on the spot using the plus icon. Update your SEO heat maps. Add more pages of competitors from SERPs. Analyze again. Flip the view and change places of keywords and sites. We provide SEO heat map allowance in the form of credits, and it depends on your price plan and how many codes you have. To summarize, it is easy to pick the best keywords for your content once you examine your competitors using SEO heat maps. It does not require a mental effort to pick focus keywords using the visual map of your SEO optimization. Now the final step, the practical implementation of SEO analysis for your blog post. To optimize the article, go into SEO tab and click on the SEO Optimize icon. After completion of metadata details, go to the next step, Focus Keywords. Click on Add Keyword button. You have a chance to enter keywords one at a time or select option Select from your research doc. In the drop-down, select the research doc you were working on, you analyzed your keywords and made the list of identified keywords that you want to compete with. And finally, track your SEO optimization progress directly in article. While you are working on your article, you can open assets in the editor and select the SEO tab. You can make your content fully optimized without leaving the writing workspace. By clicking on the button Scan, you can get the score dynamically updated for all keywords on your list. This is it. 
you can now understand how research docs and SEO heat maps are working together and how Blogly can help you write quality and highly optimized content.